Hey, welcome back to another NetCast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. Sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 56, where I want to show you how to apply ST, ND, RD, and TH to the format on a date. What I mean by this is, take for example, I have a matrix with a list of people with their birthdays. And what I want to do is I want to return the date of their birthday, but instead of it saying just 19 here, for Billy, I want it to say 19th TH. So 19 TH, if I were to go to Bill, I would want to see it to, to display, I would want it to display 2 ND or 2nd and 3rd on here and 1st here and the rest would be TH. So how do I make that happen? Well, what I need to do is I need to go ahead and I need to create this date helper matrix and I have the month days going down and I'm going to add all the way through 31st because that's the most uh, days I will have in a month and then I'm going to say that I'm going to put in what I will append for each one of those days Okay, and I think I'll do that all the way down through here and then I need to change the 21st, the 22nd, 23rd and then we should be good so then what I need to do is I go out here and I use the day function. I go day of this number, okay, we'll bring in uh, the date, 19, 8, so on and so forth. Well, I want to concatenate that also with what is what I'm going to look up over here in the date helper. So I go select what is my value that I want to return. I want to return the append, what is my key list it is going to be at value actually it's going to be value and I need to wrap this in a value because this is going to be returned the day function is going to be a value and I need to wrap this lookup list in the value because right now it's stored as text so if I do that as a value and then what is my lookup value it is going to be day bd birthday once I do that, you can see that I it goes out and it finds 19 and it brings in the TH. So 19th, 13th, 2nd, and 1st. So that's how you would add the ST, ND, RD, and TH uh, to a date if necessary in Quantrix Modeler. If you have any questions about Quantrix, feel free to reach out to me at quantrixauthority at gmail.com course following me here on YouTube and at Twitter. I absolutely love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master so please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez.